It's day 7 at the hearings about Tesla Giga Berlin in the city of Erkner while Tesla's major construction progress is going on at Giga Berlin and Tesla is bringing further isolators to power Giga Berlin. The first power is coming into Giga Berlin. Welcome back dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Before I tell you the details of how the things are going in terms of the hearings of the uh, uh, op opponents about Tesla Giga Berlin, I want to tell you a little bit about what is going on at Giga Berlin right now. Our friend Jürgen uh, from Grünheide is reporting that major construction uh, progress is on the website, uh, on the site, I'm sorry, at Giga Berlin. And he says the two parts of the paint shop uh, and paint building uh, are united and um, first cross beams are already installed at uh, the paint shop at the paint building he also says you're seeing Jürgen's pictures on your screens of course and Jürgen also says that there are further isolators installed at the electric outdoor switch gear and Giga Berlin will soon be supplied with 110 kilowatt power so as you can see now i want to i talked about uh, further isolators in case you don't know what isolators are uh, the isolator is one type of switching device and the main function of this is to make sure that a circuit is totally not triggered in order to perform the preservation these are also recognizable like isolation switches uh, to uh, isolate the circuit. Now, the isolator can be defined as it is on one type of mechanical switch used to isolate a fraction of the electrical circuit when it is required. Isolator switches are used for opening an electrical circuit in the no load condition. It is not proposed to be opened while current flows through the line. Generally, there are employed on circuit breaker both um, the ends thus uh, both uh, of both of the ends thus uh, the circuit breaker repair can be done easily without any risk so as our friend Jürgen is reporting as you can see from the pictures further isolators uh, are installed at the electrical outdoor switch gear and Tesla Giga Berlin will soon be supplied with 110 kilowatt power in the meantime, this is already the day seven on the Tesla hearing. Citizens and Tesla representatives discuss now this on seven days traffic and building law at the town of Erkner. You know that uh, there were employees and there were four, uh, and, uh, opponents and 400 objections uh, from the citizens and environmental groups and they were discussing it. If the, originally, this was going to take place on March 18, but because of the virus, it was delayed and delayed and delayed and uh, well, at some point it was going to be, I think, online, but then they wanted to make it in person and finally last week it started. The town hall of Erkner was scheduled only for three days um, but this is already the seventh day and there are still apparently some issues uh, that needs to be discussed and this time now they're discussing the traffic and building law uh, rbb24 which is brandenburg's um, public radio and of course tesla giga berlin is built in brandenburg uh, rbb24 reports the following saying in erkner on thursday today citizens officials and tesla employees again discussed the tesla factory uh, being built in grunheide it is about more than 400 objections that have been received against the plant giga berlin uh, of the u.s electric car manufacturer tesla at the state environment agency on the seventh day which is today of the public hearing 26 citizens came to the town hall in Erkner at the beginning of the discussion last Wednesday 100 participants were still present now it has come down to 26 I don't know if the interest is waning or major uh, story major questions are already uh, um, addressed and I have also reported that on the second day the interest kind of winded down but now from 100 it, it has come down to 26 uh, the topics of traffic regional planning law and building law were on the agenda this Thursday. Uh, Thursday. No gas stations, but only charging stations. 
Tesla expects that around 2,100 employees' cars will drive to the site per shift. Again, 2,100 employee cars will drive to Tesla Giga Berlin per shift. That's the expectation. And Tesla assumes one person per vehicle. That's normally uh, the case in the United States as well, right? Three shift changes are planned every day. Uh, the shifts are going to be from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 10 p.m. The vehicles are to reach the factory premises uh, via two junctions on Landstrasse 38 and via a temporary exit onto the A10. When asked by a citizen, Alexander Riederer from Tesla, uh, uh, from Tesla said that no gas stations were planned around the Gigafactory Berlin. However, there should be charging stations for e-cars. So I think it would be kind of safe to assume that most employees will hopefully one day, I don't know when, drive uh, electric vehicles. Looks like gas stations will be discouraged and there will be charging stations. So we'll see. Maybe there will be Teslas, maybe there will be electric Volkswagens, uh, ID3 or ID4 or other electric vehicles that are becoming more and more popular in uh, Germany, which I think is the top electric vehicle market in Western Europe, if not uh, the second after United Kingdom. I don't know. Guys, if you know which is the top electric vehicle market in terms of size, not popularity because I know Norway is a smaller country and they're very popular electric vehicles there but I think Germany is the largest electric vehicle market in, in, in Western Europe or Europe. Now there are also uh, objections, um, objectors also call for spatial planning procedures. Um, according to RBB several citizens have applied for a so-called spatial planning procedure to investigate the consequences of industrial settlement on nature, on the environment. This is not yet existed, as has an environmental impact assessment. John Thiele, lawyer for the Grünheide community, justifies these proceedings by stating that there is already a legally binding development plan insofar as an examination is not required. It was also sit, uh, criticized that the development plan is almost 20 years old. Many objectors consider it no longer appropriate because the settlement of Tesla has had a significant impact on the region. So citizens are requiring something new. But uh, hope for an end soon. The discussions are objective and constructive, um, but tough. The State Environment Agency nevertheless hopes that the discussion of the objections against Tesla can be concluded this Friday, hopefully tomorrow. Then it should come to the topics of occupational safety, environmental and climate protection. However, discussion leader Andre Zigner does not rule out that the talks will continue next week. The Erkner Town Hall will then continue to be available as a location for these discussions against Tesla. Let's see how things go, friends. Uh, what are your thoughts about these topics, about power bringing to uh, Giga Berlin and these discussions about uh, 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 stations, uh, charging stations, no gas stations, and so on? In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. If you guys would like to write for Torque News Tesla and electric vehicle stories, please contact me through the about page of our our YouTube channel and we're hiring more Tesla reporters. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you and see you soon.